So you just met Prince Charming and you're feeling the groove with the old guy. But now you're starting to suspect that maybe he's got a girlfriend. Well, we're going to dive into some tips today that will show you the right path on does he or doesn't he have a girlfriend? And we're going to talk about that right now. Welcome back everyone to Tips for Women, where we talk about everything in a man's mind that he doesn't want you to know. And today, we're going to discuss some tips so you can tell that that guy that you just met, whether he has a girlfriend or not. So let's just dive right into the first tip. The first thing, ladies, that you need to watch for is that new guy you just met, does he always take his calls in private? Every time that he has to make a call or some call comes in, he wants to get away from you in order to get that call. And he's going to tell you it's going to be work or it's going to be this or it's going to be that. But every single time that he gets on that phone, it's not going to be in front of you. The second thing you need to look out for is he is going to guard that phone like it is the holy grail. I mean, he is not going to want you nowhere near it. He's not going to want you looking through it. It's going to be password protected. He, if you get anywhere near his phone, he is going to freak out because he doesn't want you to know what's in that phone. The next thing that you will be able to tell is that you will catch him in little bitty lies of like he wasn't in a certain place when he said he was there or he didn't end up in a certain location that he said he was going to be at. That is a surefire sign that something's wrong. The next sign is this guy is never going to invite you to his place. He's not going to want you to know where he lives. He's always going to spend some time with you, but it's always going to be out in a location or over at your place. He doesn't want you to know anything personal about him because that's where his girlfriend is going to be. The next sign is this man is not going to let you meet none of his friends or his family. You're going to be his dirty little secret and he's going to have plenty of excuses He's going to tell you, oh, his friends are busy, or he doesn't have friends, or he's the black sheep of the family, or, um, you know, he just doesn't want you in close in his personal life because that is the chair that his girlfriend is sitting in. So he can't take a chance on being embarrassed in front of all the people that he knows and they know that he's a cheater. The next thing is a big giveaway is... He's not going to let you be on his Facebook or he's going to tell you that he doesn't have a Facebook. Now, unless you're 60 years and above, um, I really think that almost every person on this planet has a Facebook. I have met a very few people that didn't and they're just not social media people at all. They barely even get on the internet. So if this person has a Facebook, this man that you just met, but he's making a thousand excuses of why he cannot add you to his Facebook because he's worried about you commenting on his stuff. Well, that's a direct giveaway that he is hiding a big something. The next one you need to worry about is right when you meet this guy, he's going to tell you that he has a girl best friend. Okay. Now I'm not saying that that does not happen, but when a guy meets you, he's going to want to spend most of his time with you, like 90, 95%. And his best friend will tag along with you. Now, if his best friend does not tag along with you and he is spending the majority of his time with this girl, best friend that he says he has, well, you might want to start rethinking the situation because in a guy's mind, he's doing something dirty. And the last little tip is his phone, like I said earlier, is going to be password protected. But here's a sure sign. Whenever you're with him, 
that phone of his is going to be face down. That way, if a text comes through, if a call comes through, if anything comes through, you cannot see who's calling and he can ignore it and he will be getting calls and you'll see him just shut him off and you'll ask who that is and he'll go, oh, that's just somebody I don't want to talk to or that's just work. I don't want to deal with them. He's always going to make an excuse of why you cannot see what's coming through on his phone. So ladies, I hope you have not met a guy like this. There's a lot of guys out there like this, but there's also a tremendous amount of men that have a lot of morals and would never do anything as of what I just spoke of. So hopefully you can find the good guy, dump the, dump the loser. And I hope these were some good tips and these videos right here. You can click on them and get some more great tips from Tips From Women. And like always, ladies, stay beautiful.